And now, to begin the Tuesday in the theater, otherwise known as TIT or TIT, with yours truly, JBJ Blaze, and featuring in just a moment. A game brought to you by Greeny Games. Samphy. Brought to you by Greeny Games. Sam Fee. Now, with full disclosure in mind, I do want to state that a friend that I met through Indie Gamers UK, he actually ran the site at the time, Dale Green is the developer of this game, although it's currently on indefinite hiatus because he's been working on other projects currently. So before we get into it, let's check out the about beta, which it's currently in as seen below here at the bottom of this screen to the right. Early access version is 0.21. And there's a handy tip, hold shift to run. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the development of Samfy by purchasing while in early access. I've been working on Samfy for four years now and felt it was time to take the leap and get people playing the game. Over the next six to 12 months, I'll be taking all feedback as we move through early access towards a full release. Welcome to the team. I hope you will enjoy my little game. And let's return back to the menu screen where we've got single player and settings. Settings include switching on and off full screen as well as toggling music, sound effects, volume, custom textures, which requires a restart. The language, which includes UK English as well as these other three which i honestly can't remember what those flags are for my apologies and the resolutions including that one actually what is that one again yeah that is 1440p didn't think it was 4K. I don't think I'm wrong. And before we find out whether I'm wrong or not, let's hit up single player. Free play because the story is not currently available. And here we go. We'll be available on full release. Free play. So I do have a world already started up. World 1 and you can have 5 total. I'll be loading up my current world. That's my current character. And this is the character creation, which you don't actually have any options for right now, aside from male or female, I will of course be going with male. I was actually about to say female by accident. <laughs> Now let's proceed again back here. World one. And let's load the world. And of course here you can see, oh, you can even highlight them. Those are pigs and that sheep. And there's me, JBJ Blaze, with character stats coming soon.
And there is my trusty sidekick or side dog, per se. My inventory includes my spade, my axe, dirt, worm, flax, apple, and more flax. To access my inventory, it's the E key, where I have my oak wood, pine wood, berries, more oak wood, fat, more of the different two woods. There may be more. Haven't gotten that far yet. Apple, wool, rocks, seed, and seed potato. Not sure what the seed potato is exactly, at least even in comparison to the others. That's, of course, my inventory button, my gear. All that is equipped. And then the settings menu. And I believe that's what I currently have equipped, as well as my trash icon, where I can drag items to if I want to, of course, trash it. And I don't, I don't think there's currently any music, and that's from hitting the escape button. Your progress will be saved if you exit the game. Let's go back to continuing it. And maybe click back on the music. There we go. So it does like to be set back on. Let's hold E to travel. Leftward. There is a good leg spike there that could be fixed. Also, Happy uh, early Independence Day and belated Canada Day to my friends out there and the strangers, of course, because this is Tuesday in the theater with ease. <laughs> ah, get the fun there? No? Just totally intended. But anyway, because this is the 3rd of July, 2018, and also, before I went too far into this, that is, I did want to make a mention of dedication out of inspiration to Total Biscuit who made his WTF is series where he does first impressions of mainly indie games. And that serves as an inspiration for this series, as well as really any other series I've attempted. Because of the structure in which his series weren't reviews but rather just i'm checking this game out for the first or more than my first time and i haven't fully developed my thoughts on it and in samphy i've garnered two hours at this point there are two guides currently which may be official just checking them out now Yep, they are official from Greeny Games. And the current and only achievement is Baby Crafter, where you have to craft five items. That which I still have not figured out yet. So it's kind of like Minecraft in that it's got a big learning curve, and I think Terraria has it too. And the other thing was that this was also featured on an episode of the Co-Optional Podcast back when Total Biscuit was the host. And big kudos to his wife, Jenna Bain, for carrying on. And at the same time, still doing her own thing. And... I've been meaning to catch up with past episodes of the podcast with her as the host. I look forward to it. Uh, 
but this was actually featured on the show during their uh, segment of looking through games, through releases, that's what it's called. (laughs) I've watched the show long enough, I should remember, and I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to tell Dale that Samphy was featured. I'm not sure what he felt about it, because they did give the game criticism for really yeah, looking a lot like Terraria. And it does, to an extent. But it definitely has a different term to it, in a fashion. But maybe that's just me. Which is also why I mentioned the disclosure before. So also, there is my health bar, hunger bar, level progression bar, and my happiness bar. So I'm very happy, very healthy, and nearly halfway hungry, so half hungry. And I think I've reached the end of the map here. Because I cannot go any further. Even my doggy, my doggo is gone. Woof, woof. Woof. I think they latter more accurately, so. So these red dots are berries that you can gather. And I can collect flax that you can now see. As well as chopping down this good looking tree right here. And I've gathered more apples and oak. I'm also going to run out of inventory room while I'm at it. So to create a door here in the inventory section requires a crafting bench (laughs) and you know what maybe that's something that would actually help so just a quick moment i'm going to check the crafting guide which i never thought would actually be necessary but i think in my case it is because i just cannot figure this out for the life of me and so you won't be able to see it Yeah, I just broke the fourth wall. I could break it again for 16 wall breaks. And then it shattered. So one of these item recipes I would hope is a crafting bench. But I don't quite see it yet. I don't think I... Oh, there it is. It requires four sticks and two wood. So I've got wood, but how do I make them into sticks? It appears that to make sticks, I need just one wood. And can I change the item to be crafted? No. I appear to be unable to do that. What about this wood? Now it has a pine block, but I can't do anything with that. I'm wondering why it is that this isn't working, because I would think it should. Did I mention that this feature is a matter of taking an hour to figure out how the heck to work each system and whatnot? Oh, and do I have, no, that's all just dirt. I think I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can place dirt down. Oh, and there's the moon, which we are gradually approaching. That's nice, you can actually approach the moon. That is a wolf, whom I probably do not want to mess with. 
take that. Let's wonder if I can have the moon show up. Oh, no. I have to keep going further and further. Let's pick some flax. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, almost there. Can I get it to the center of the screen? What? Holy crap, it's actually moving. The moon is actually moving gradually more to the right. That is something I wasn't actually planning on. Ow! I just fell. Did you see that? It hurt my legs. Now, there are supposed to be acorns, if I recall correctly. Yeah, acorns indeed. Because the more I think about it, the more I really do definitely remember it. So yeah, more of about the same uh, passive mobs being, of course, sheep and, well, uh, sheep, pigs, and wolves. But I haven't encountered many wolves thus far. Oh, my hunger's depleting really badly. I'm going to want to get that taken care of ASAP. I wonder if... Oh, there we go. It was just flickering, and I was thinking, does that mean my inventory is full? But nope, that is not the case. Not one bit. And just a quick wee moment, I need to change something. And wait a moment. What is that pig doing to the left? Is he going crazy like I'm totally not? And... I was totally not just changing a certain title because I can do that, but I can't. Oh, that's right. It doesn't just go click and boom, it's gone. You actually have to work at it. And holy crap, the moon's gone. That's what happens when you're distracted from your mission. The moon just up and disappears on you. It doesn't even care. What can I do with seed? Nothing. What about berries? Nothing with those either. This is weird. Oh, there's the moon. It's just above my inventory bar. How did it get all the way up there? It's like one of those things where you blink and you miss it. Hmm. I need to look at the crafting guide again. Is there anything I can do with seeds? I can do stuff with flax, which is making rope. But I want to know, can I eat a berry maybe? Because that would certainly help. I don't think I can, though. Okay, the other guide is creating custom textures. Whoa. Holy crap, they... They paused. Now they're not paused anymore. That's weird. wonder why that is. 
Now. Aha. So that is how you consume food, is you click and drag it to your character. It's like you're feeding his sorry butt. Holy crap. That opens new opportunities. Oh my gosh. Can I maybe make myself... Ooh, crap. Can I make it kill him? Yes, I can. Oh, and of course, those rocks will nicely just stay up there. Can I click and drink the seed potato? Of course I can, but then can I even eat it at least? And shifting does indeed make me run. I think I noticed that before. Well. I'm not sure where that sound was coming from. And I don't remember how to knock out a beehive. But I have a feeling at the same time that it wouldn't be safe. As they say, mind your own beeswax. Or bees will, you know, make your life a little worse. Time to chase that bloody moon. Whoa. That's right, the wolves come out at night. Can I attack them? Hold on. That's right. I don't have the option. Would be nice to be able to check out my keybinds. Holy crap! And now it's the sun. And I like how this is gradually showing off its transition to daytime, the sky. Because I'm not sure, it, it's, because in Minecraft it's like real life where, holy crap, the lighting's changed. Although maybe not so much. It's definitely more noticeable. And then here it's very noticeable. I haven't even seen that in Terraria. Okay, now, if I can just eat this seed. Can I eat it? No, I cannot. I cannot eat the seed potato. So instead, I'm going to use up a bunch of apples. If I can. Now, can I catch up to the sun? It'd be a shame that this has turned into, let's chase the sun or the moon in the case of nighttime. Now, what happens when I try to make... Now, for some reason, it only wants to do a pecan. Oh, that's right. I have to have sticks first to make a kiln. Now it still wants to make a kiln. Whoa. That is actually weird. It's doing that, showing the kiln and decreasing the amount of rocks I have, even though I'm not actually, I don't have the rocks in there anymore. Okay, that fixed it. Just had to do that over again. Now, if my character would be so kind as to lose some health again, then maybe, just maybe, Use up more of my apples. Although there is an option to make a chest, which I'm going to currently quickly check currently. 
And to make a chest, I require wood and rope, which I can use flax for. Yes, indeed. Let's use up all of that for a rope and all of this flax for a rope. Sweet. I think I'm getting closer to my achievement. Hot dog. And the achievement once again is craft five items. How awesome is that? And where did I go? Well, I'm way over here. I uh, don't seem to be able to... Wait. Maybe I can bring myself a little more into the camera space. Now, if I can try this again. Oh, you know what? That's why my uh, hunger bears filled up again. Again. I still can't make a door. Oh, but that's how I do up the sticks. I just had to scroll down. Aha. Aha, ha, ha. So that answered that. That I just have to scroll down. That is actually pretty cool. It makes things way more straightforward now. Yeah, I'm actually making a bunch of sticks. Which then means I can make ladders. Or how about if I use rock and sticks, ladders, rock sharp, hammer, fire. Let's do up a hammer. And maybe, yeah, let's do up a ladder. Feed myself another apple. Okay. And I, okay, so it, I guess really doesn't matter yet or currently what I have in my inventory crafting window. So if I run, that should help decrease my hunger bar so that I can get rid of the last of my seven apples that I really don't need. Come on. I'm almost there. Travel this way. Can I chase the sun? Or is that hiding away from me again? Could just be hiding. I think it's hiding. It's onto something. Okay, I won't bother chasing the sun. Instead, I do want to check. Oh, crap. I just got the baby crafter achievement. Wow. I completed all of the achievements for Sam V. Just about three minutes ago. It didn't even prompt me that I had completed that achievement, so that's pretty dang sweet. Especially the part where I finally did figure it out. Yeah. 
We can eat more apples. Hopefully. Ah. Uh, I don't know how to work this rope. And I think I know why I am unknowing of such a skill or task. Was it this way? Yes, it was indeed this way. So if I go back into my inventory and look for rope a dope a dope, that's wool, that's a hammer. Where'd I put my rope? I had it. What about using my worms? Can I do that? Oh, there we go. It's lovely how I can even jump right in the air. Wait, did that actually do? Something? No. Ah, this is where the rope went. So it was right on top of the seed potato. Okay, so I'm right. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. To set up my kiln right about here if I can. Can I do that? Doesn't seem to want to let me. And this is exactly why. There is my kiln. Yet another spot freed from my inventory space. Oh, holy crap. Thank you from Mixer. Yet hangs low meat for following. It will go down and Tit history or titstory. I just butchered that. Now, if I can. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's. No, there we go. Aha! And that's where I can put some dirt. It's right click to dig at it and left click with the spade to remove it and actually yeah, i gotta keep that out of there because then it's just going to make me unable to move through it also does lack the animation well is absent of it rather And this I need my pickaxe for, which I do not appear to have. Can I use stones with sticks? What about, do I need my rock sharp? How do I make a pickaxe? Checking the Steam community guide right now. Once again. So sharp rocks. There doesn't appear to be. Maybe, maybe I can just use my regular axe. No, I need a pickaxe. Indeed. But there does not appear to be a recipe for that. 
Now, I know I've done it before. Because I do have rocks. But I still need a pickaxe. So I don't know what it is I'm missing here. Unless I maybe ended up trashing it. So there's my hammer there. But if I can maybe use my kiln. Okay. Can't use my berries there. Oh, holy crap. And I appear to have leveled up to level two. I wasn't sure if there was really level progression, but it appears there is. Picked up some more dirt. Fortunately, I can still climb up. Now, I am able to make a torch. Pardon me, which requires sticks and fat. So, sticks and fat will allow me to make four torches. Oh, I can't drag it to my second slot. Darn. That is a bit disappointing. Now, can I make a sword to fight the wildlife? I can use a rope, flax, yeah, there are no swords so far. That's a, would a hammer work on one of these animals? Like a pig or wolf? A uh, hammer appears to be not even ineffective, just doesn't do the job, period. Harvest these berries, okay. And now, eat another apple. Keep my hunger bar complete. And replace dirt with my torch. Here we go. And place a torch right there. And perhaps one right here. Maybe even right there. All right, and I need rope. Uh, that's, those are sticks. Where'd I put my rope? There we go. And I need one last material, which is flax, but I used up all my flax. Crap. So I suppose we will not get to see that in action. But wait, I can just get more flax, right? So on to the quest, I am for more flax. Instead of chasing a star or moon in the sky, I will... Oh, flax is right here. That's... that was so handy. Now, does it show up? It does not. Now, before I craft more torches with fat, is there anything else I can craft with fat? It appears not. So I will go ahead and make more torches. And now I need more sticks, which I do have. Goody. 
make the last few torches that I can. And now I've got plenty of space for flax. But I don't appear to have picked up any from this spot. I still don't have any. More berries, this should be more flax. Yes, it is. Yippers. Now that I've got the flax, let's use my rope a dope a dope. Do I still have the rope? Wool. That's a stick. 40 of them to be precise. Rocks, wool, sticks. So currently I'm still out of ropes. There we go, keeping my happiness high. Not actually even perfect. Harvest the flax. Ooh, two trees right here. It is a neat sight to see. Get a screenshot of that. Now, get this last bit of flax from over here. Oh yeah, that's right, I need more rope. Which requires flax. How do you do? And I am now experiencing turbulence. Just going to make sure I have this on record. I have it on record now. Abort. Tuesday in theater is currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by while I proceed to reopen the game and continue. So just a moment and we'll be re-entering Sam V. So, of course, the early access disclaimer that you will not have seen as I break the fourth wall once again. Also, you'll notice the at greedy underscore games Twitter handle that's changed to new handle which is underscore I am a sloth or rather in a sloth or I'm a sloth now do I get to maybe keep my progress Which appears to possibly not be the case. Got rope and fat. But I've got my kiln. If I can find my nice spot, that would be nice. First, let that moment be for we travel. Yeah, it did not save. Unfortunately. So to make up for that, I'm going to redig out this whole spot. I guess means that, yeah, you definitely do 
want to save your progress as frequently as possible. Because it's very possible that you will lose your progress. Kind of wish it maybe you just did the regular auto save. Now that I know that's an issue. But might as well deal with it. Now at least I still have my sticks, so that's all good. Let's move my kiln to my inventory, or my quick bar rather, so that I can now place it back down. There we go. Don't burn your butt off, Peggy. Hey, sexy pig. Hey. And time to check out the crafting guide once again. So two sticks, two flax, and one rope. So I've got the sticks. I am out of flax. But I've got ropes. Uh-oh. Eat more apples. Okay, so sticks only go up to the stack of 40. This is how that works. So I got the berries and the flax. Did I pick every single one? That appears to be so. So maybe it did, but no, it didn't. Ah, that's something I all want to do, is craft my torches. And use more sticks with more fat. And yep, that's all of my fat. And I can only do 20 stacks of torches, or two stacks of 20 torches. So I'll place one there, place one up there. And I can only place torches on walls. And that requires an axe to take. Whoa, I don't want to take down the tree. And that doesn't look right either. So take down that torch. And place more torches around. Can I place one in? Holy crap, I can place one near water just like that. Oh boy. There goes another one. Place another one. There we go. And yeah, I do appear to have a bit of a pattern here where I'm putting them mostly on the left side, except for the far one, which was on the right. And maybe bring back on the music. Oh yes, this is the menu I was looking for. There goes the music once again. And there's another woof. I like how these three trees are set up. That's pretty neat. Okay. Let 
maybe set up ah, hall of torches now we are super well lit oh my gosh and my dog's having movement issues that's funny if you don't agree as raj Kutrapali would say screw you that's funny Okay, now, if I can, during these last 10 minutes of this feature, sticks, rope, and flax, which is the final material. So I'm actually going to trash berries because I've just got way too many of them they're really just cluttering up my inventory and I usually don't like trashing anything but hey then again this is only early access that was a quick switch to this next area so that's pretty nice Pardon me. We did not hear that. But maybe, maybe, hopefully you heard that. Because that's the sound of me gathering more flax. There are those. And there's that. Not sure plural was necessary. Form that is. And... Perhaps when I reach the other side again, I will make sure to save just so as to avoid having to do this all over again. That was kind of inconvenient. And hey, now this area looks so well lit that it's pretty. And exit. Idiot doesn't fully exit the game. Oh, animals can be tethered by right clicking them when holding a rope. I did not think of that. That is actually a useful tip. Indeed, it is. Okay. At least these torches seem to point to where I want to go. So I suppose that pattern was useful after all. Hmm. What do I do wish I'd have just spawned right back? Well, then again, I don't have my bed. And how do I make a bed? Sticks and wool. So hold things up for a quick moment. I'm going to make a bed, which requires a crafting bench. And how do I make one of those again? I'm going to check if it's just requiring wood. Nope. Okay, how about six? Nope to that either. Or two. Okay, how do I build a crafting table? Or bench, rather. I want a bench, actually. I'm sure the guide would have it somewhere as to how to build a... Ah! Can craft everything. Nope, this is not what I'm looking for. Yeah, it doesn't indicate how to create a crafting bench, though, or rather build one. 
which is what's really confusing me. Do 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 do. I mean, unless I'm supposed to have it already, but obviously I don't. And it requires a crafting bench to even make a block. I wonder if that's the same case with oak. Yep, it requires a crafting bench too. So how about maybe I'll just go with using, do I have any flax? Yes, I do. And I've got sticks. And now I need rope. Aha, I've made myself my bow. And move the flax back and the rope back into my quick bar because I want to try this out with roping animals. Holy crap, actually works. I drag the animal upwards. Nope, it's just not moving. Oh, and it's stuck. Ah, there we go. Now if I can place that torch back, just like that, there we go go. Now, can I use this or anything? The kiln? It does not appear that I can. Right. So, I'm going to try to see what else I can do in these last three minutes of this feature. I don't have any weed yet. But before I finish things up, I really do need to show off the process of taking down a tree. And throw away more berries. And I did not receive any acorns from that. Travester. What about from this tree? As you can see, it does show how much of it you've gone through. And this time, did I get any acorns? No. But what I'm going to do is throw out those apples. Throw out some, I, I'm just going to go ahead and throw out some of my material because I really, really want more space because otherwise I can't demonstrate too much. So take down this pine tree. And there are acorns. So perhaps this is what I can end off with. And that is planting a tree right there. And so you can see just two little hairy things pointing up. That was not supposed to work like it did. Because now I'm out of acorns. And I need my spade to dig up that one. And now it's clear. And with that, that does have to be the end 
of this Tuesday in the theater feature. And I stole down have a pickaxe, nor is there a recipe in the crafting guide for such a thing. And so with that, let's exit Sam Fee. And the game itself. Oh, and Greeny Games logo, which... Okay, clicking here doesn't do anything. So click out of that. And so that should make for about three hours of Sam Fee. I do thank you for watching. Let's keep it in the... This has been JBJ Blaze with this feature of Tuesday in the theater, otherwise known as TIT or TIT, featuring Sam Fee from Greeny Games, or rather my friend Dale Green. And all the best in what you're currently doing, Dale, which is actually, hold on. I'm about to double check on that. So he did actually release or start, no, he finished writing a book two years ago, back in February. And aside from that, I believe he was working on an app. And yeah, two years ago, actually, the test finally arrived in the Samfy. So I look forward to, hopefully, Dale resuming development of Samfy. And I do also want to take this moment to wish through this feature condolences to Jenna Bain and the rest of John Total Biscuit Bain's family. And once again, thank you a lot, especially on the Co Optional Podcast, and even more so from the WTF series for being an inspiration to my series here, Tuesday in the Theater. But for now, I am signing off for the night with the end of this feature on July 3rd, 2018, because when you spell it with leet, replace the E's with threes. And this is now complete. Good night for now, and I hope you enjoyed. That's all, folks. Ooh. Chunk.